What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm the Canadian Comic Collector. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the X-Men and how I believe they can be incorporated into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we get started, just wanted to remind you, Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, really appreciate the support. In March of 2019, Disney acquired 20th Century Fox for over $71 billion. This gave them access to a bunch of properties, but today we're going to be talking solely about the X-Men. In the 60s, 70s, and 80s, the X-Men were a huge part of Marvel's comics stable. But unfortunately, due to some bankruptcy issues, they had to sell the movie rights to franchises like the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Spider-Man. This led to a bunch of movies being released, 12 X-Men movies over 19 years, starting with the X-Men in the year 2000, and ending with The Dark Phoenix in 2019. Now that they're back in Marvel's hand, Marvel's really going to look for a way to incorporate these guys into their universe. They really come at a time when Marvel's looking to add some new stories after 12 years of the Infinity Saga has finally come to a close. There are a few things, in my opinion of course, that Marvel needs to do to ensure success of Charles Xavier's gifted youngsters. First and foremost, they need to scrap everything Fox has done. Everything from the cast to storylines must be erased. Those X-Men movies that Fox created were for the most part pretty bad, and they created some really messed up timelines that just don't make sense. Also, if they kept the timelines, they just wouldn't jive with Marvel's current universe. For example, Magneto started out as a young boy during the Holocaust, if he were to be introduced into the Marvel Universe now, he would be in his late 80s to early 90s, and that just doesn't make sense for a supervillain. They also need to stay away from the stories already told by Fox. Arguably two of the biggest X-Men stories, Days of Future Past and the Dark Phoenix Saga, have been done much too recently. They need to find a new, more original story to recapture the attention and dollars of moviegoers. My original thought was that I'd like to see a few of the X-Men featured in solo movies, much like the blueprint that Marvel followed for the first Avengers film. The X-Men have a few members who could work really well in a standalone film if Marvel chooses to go this route. Storm is a character who didn't reach her full potential in the Fox films. She has a tremendous backstory, one that sees her saving the life of, a, of Black Panther as a young girl, later marrying him. Fans have been asking for a lead female character who is also a person of color. This would make sense that the first is Storm, who broke barriers as the first black woman superhero when she debuted in Giant Size X-Men 1 in 1975. Nightcrawler is another character who didn't get his due in the Fox films, appearing in X-2, played by Alan Cummings. He's son of inf the infamous X-Men villain Mystique, He's a religious half-demon with a knack for short bursts of teleportation and incredible agility. Gambit has been rumored to be in the works since 2014, with Channing Tatum attached to both star and direct. That project was recently put on the shelf last year after the acquisition by Disney, but who knows where that goes. The smooth-talking, wise-cracking, raging Cajun was featured prominently in the 90s X-Men cartoon and even made a brief appearance in the critically panned, and rightfully so, Wolverine's origin film portrayed by Taylor Kitscht. It's unclear if Disney will look to add Gambit to the slate, but if they did, he'd be a massive fan favorite. Despite the potential for a standalone film, the X-Men work best as a team. The Avengers all came from their own individual series and came together to form the, the Avengers story. The X-Men, however, began as a team, and I believe that's how they should be portrayed. The Guardians of the Galaxy movies are a perfect example on how to do this. Guardians of the Galaxy showed that it's perfectly okay to make a team movie without a full two-hour backstory for each character. That movie took a series that, to the non-comic book fan, was an unknown, and turned it into not one, but two movies that were just shy of a billion dollars each. One thing is for sure, whether or not they start with solo films and build up to an epic X-Men movie, or they go with a team-based movie right out of the gate, Marvel has an opportunity to create another cash cow with their X-Men franchise. 
If we're lucky, Marvel and Disney will be able to find the magic that they found with the Avengers universe and will be set up for another decade of great stories and great characters. Well, that does it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know what X-Men heroes or villains you would like to see brought to the universe. Thanks a lot and happy hunting.